Yeah, Joe Biden flexed American might over China in his State of the Union address. He said America is rising. He reiterated that the U.S. wants competition with China, not conflict. But he emphasized that the U.S. will, quote, win the competition for the 21st century against China or anyone else. Now, speaking before a joint session of Congress, Biden said America is standing up against China in terms of both trade and foreign affairs. Take a listen to this. We're standing up against China's unfair economic practices. We're standing up for peace and stability across the Taiwan Straits. I've revitalized our partnership and alliance in the Pacific. I've made sure that the most advanced American technologies can't be used in China. And then in a shot at Donald Trump, he said that it, quote, never occurred to my predecessor to do any of that, unquote. Now, Biden's comments come right after China slammed U.S. trade and tech policies. This happened on Thursday on the sidelines of the National People's Congress, which is underway this week in Beijing. And we heard from Foreign Minister Wang Yi. He blasted the U.S. for, quote, bewildering level of trade curbs. And Wang said this. Let's bring up the quote for you. Quote, if the U.S. is obsessed with suppressing China, it will eventually harm itself, unquote. Now, the Biden administration has been curbing China's ability to access sensitive, high-end technology like semiconductors over fears that American technology could be used to bolster the Chinese military. And the U.S. has also slapped sanctions against China over a host of issues, including allegations of human rights abuses, over the fentanyl trade, over support for Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Now, Wang Yi, he did say that there have been improvements in the U.S.-China relationship, especially since that recent summit in APEC San Francisco. And we have seen that improvement. But the fact that we're hearing this strong language in Beijing, in Washington this week, only reveals the tension that still remains. Back to you, Michael. Yeah.